I'm going to show you how to move a shape either to the foreground or to the background. So let's say for instance that we have this server and we drag it in front of our firewall. And now the firewall by default is going to be in front and the server is going to be in the back. If I go to the home button and I click on the server and I say bring to front, now we see the firewall is behind the server. Let's bring it back to where it was. And now we'll say send to back. And now the firewall is back in front of the server. So one of the nice things about this is, is you can now put one shape over another to represent some additional information about that. So for instance, let's say that this server is also doing double duty as a firewall. And then I can choose one of the themes that has more than one color option. Now I'll go back to my home tab, highlight my firewall once again, and then I'm going to go and change the color to red, because usually a firewall is going to be red. Now I'll put it in front of my server. And now basically what that says, without even any type of writing or text box, is I've got a server and it's also running a firewall. You could do something similar if, for instance, we took a modem. So a lot of internet service providers are including modems inside their firewalls and if you just put that modem inside of it, then it says, hey, I am a modem as well as a firewall. And then you can highlight both of them if you'd like, right click, and you can group them together. And now they can be moved as if they're one shape. So you can see moving to foreground or background can be very useful information when you're inserting shapes into your diagram.